Well, first thing is that uh, rejection is not personal, so it's a commercial-based decision when somebody actually rejects a salesperson. So our job is to understand that they're not rejecting us personally, they are rejecting our offer. And in terms of our offer, the way that we're actually presenting our offer, that could also be incorrect as well. Yeah, so you gotta really have a paradigm shift around um, you know, uh, rejection. Uh, and the reason that we've got to do that is we've got to understand that we get more no's than yeses in sales. So it's important that we understand that because we get more no's than yeses, uh, that we're not actually a sales specialist, that we're actually a rejection specialist because we get more no's than yeses. And if we were to sell a product and we know that the numbers were, the closing ratio to sell that product was one in 10, and uh, you knew that you had to get no, nine no's to get the yes on the 10th, that if your item was, or what you were selling was $1,000, if you divided that by the 10 and you knew that for every no that you got, uh, it was $100, uh, and then on the 10th one you got paid, so every time you got rejected, uh, you say thanks for the 100. Uh, I'll make a few more calls, I get rejected a few more times, and I say thanks for the 100, thanks for the 100, knowing that I'm gonna get paid on the 10th call. You have to have belief in, in the product, you have to have belief in the company, you have to be passionate about what you're selling because if you're not passionate about it, it's very hard to have belief. And we know that 56% of selling and closing is your passion, your enthusiasm, so your ability to be passionate and believe that the company can deliver uh, the product is really important. And there are some companies that have operational problems and they can't deliver, so the salesperson's belief goes down. They might be passionate, but if they can't deliver, it becomes a problem. Yeah, it changed immensely. Um, it was, you know, when, when I did the first one, it was like, you know, 30 years ago when I made my first cold call working for a, a, a lighting manufacturing company in Richmond. All those years ago, I had no idea what I was doing. And I thought I did because I was young and, you know, uh, free and I guess a bit silly, but uh, I learned the hard way, you know, and, and I had to adapt my approach and exactly uh, that is what happened uh, when going to investors, you know, you kind of going to raise capital and everybody wants to raise capital and that's really, really a tough market. Um, so that first presentation compared to the last one was completely different, but it was the journey and the growth of who you become in that journey that's the most important thing. Um, whether you're raising capital, whether you're in business for the first time, whether you're in sales for the first time, it's that journey and you've got to embrace the journey. You've really got to embrace that journey. Final.